Another interesting um, asset that you want to be aware of uh, that you can grab for free are textures. Um, and so if you search texture and then make it free, um, you can look and see uh, there are a ton of textures and texture packs that might be useful for you um, so that even if you do have a, uh, a simple mesh, a simple object, um, you might want to uh, dress it up or decorate it essentially with a texture so that we can make our floor, um, you know, not a blank color, for example. We could make it um, this stylized grass texture. Okay, so if we grab um, the materials that are built inside this texture, uh, you can see that instead of what we've been used to, where materials are like an albedo that you pick, um, these all, you might notice, have like a, a photograph, like a very tiny icon next to each of them. Um, that's because uh, what makes something distinct from just a, um, a flat material is the use of, of these uh, photo image textures. And so there are a bunch of different um, texture, uh, what should I say, formats. Um, there's the things we think of as the texture, which is the color here, which is labeled um, base color. But then there's what's called a height map um there's a normal map there's a roughness map and there's an ambient occlusion map and while these are all um either familiar terms if you're a pc gamer and you've turned these things up and down on on settings in a game or uh but you might not know what they actually mean or you've never dealt with any of this stuff and it's just freaking you out to hear scary words like ambient occlusion um Either way, uh, why these matter is when we work with um, materials, they've got a lot of these properties that let us do some kind of interesting things. So the base color um, is what's populating the albedo. Um, the uh, roughness is the specular. Um, so that's deciding if things should be rough or smooth not just all over, but um, in certain parts of the texture. Like if parts of this texture were implied to be metal and parts of them were implied to be sandpaper, it would have different properties at, at the different spots in the picture. Um, similarly, normal map and height map are both tools that um, can pretend like there's some literal texture, some difference in height between um, these uh, images, even though it's a straight up flat floor still. Um, and then occlusion is uh, a big word for things being blocked. Um, and so if there's aspects of this that, uh, that should block out the light or, um, or something like that, uh, occlusion would deal with that. Now, if we don't like how big this is, you know, the implication that this quote unquote grass, even though it's very cartoony, is like enormous, um, that is changed in the tiling. So the bigger the number, the smaller the tiles, um, which doesn't exactly make sense, except the way to think about it is like how many of these tiles are going to fit into the space. So. Um, bigger number would mean you have to make smaller tiles for it to fit. So now we've got something that looks a lot more like um, I woke up in my weird uh, flower print bed, but instead of my normal bedroom, I've got this cartoony forest that I'm in 
um, with these beautiful rugs on it. So I want to encourage you to check out the asset store and see um, how much stuff is available for free on there. Um, it's uh, it can be pretty overwhelming and it's easy to go on a shopping spree and download a bunch of stuff you don't need. Um, all this stuff does take up hard drive space. So at some point, if you don't end up using um, a lot of what you download, you know, trash it out of your Unity um, project so that you uh, so that you don't have it sitting around.